OK, so I want to show you one input data tables. So basically what I've got here is a calculation. I'm using the payment function, and I've got a tutorial where you can see that. The links are below this video, or if you're on my website, you can actually go there and see it in the Excel section. So basically it's based on an amount borrowed, an interest rate, and the number of months to pay it. It's telling me my monthly repayments. Now you might want to do a what if analysis on this and just see what the difference would be if you had different percentages. And you don't really want to have to go in and change each one of these and record it. So what you can do is create a little data table. First thing I need to do is I need to move this function here. So I'm just going to cut and paste it. I'm just going to click on cut and then just paste it here. And the thing I want to do now is just highlight this area. Now you have to highlight it all in one go. Don't use the control key to highlight it as two separate sections. And you do need this blank bit over here. So effectively, what it's going to do is it's going to take each one of these, substitute it in here into the interest rate, and list them down here without changing anything up there. So to do this, I need to go into data. And I've got to go into what if analysis here. If you're using a Mac or if you're using uh, Excel 2003, you'll find this under the data menu under table. So I'm going to go to data table here. You'll see it comes up with this dialog box. There's a row input cell and there's a column input cell. So if you had your data going across, you would use this row input. I'm going to use the column input cell. These values are the interest rates. They're going into here. So I'm just going to click on here. Don't worry about the dollar signs in there. And click on OK. And you can see it's automatically created that list there. And I can see it's correct because I've got that value in here, which is the same as this one here, with the exception of decimal places. So that is how you can use a one input data table. If you look at another one of my tutorials immediately after this one, you will see how to use a two input where you can have, say, months going across the top and percentages going down the side here.